Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Patch620, and I have another Udyr guide to show you using the new buff Phoenix. The Udyr buff last patch finally brought him above 50% win rate in high elo, which we haven't seen in a long time, so that's good. I've played about 40 games after the buff, experimenting with different items, runes, and masteries, and in this guide I'm going to show you what I think is the best way to take advantage of the buff base damage of the flames while still being semi-tanky. The short explanation is that we'll use a lot of attack speed and a lot of cooldown reduction, so we can get a lot of instances of flames because that's what got buffed. We're going to start level 1 with a Hunter's Talisman and a refillable potion, so we can sustain through the entire jungle for the first clear. And then at our first recall we can pick up a Hunter's Potion and Basic Boots, those are the first priority, and then with extra money we can pick up the Soccer's Blade or just an attack speed dagger. There's no need to rush the jungle enchantment, so we can wait to see how the game progresses a little bit before committing to either Sinner Hulk or Blood Razor. And before that, it's a good time to buy early defense if you need it. So if you need some early magic resist, if the enemy mid laner maybe got a couple kills early, just rush Wit's End. And then if you need armor, you can just grab the Glacial Shroud, which can later be upgraded into Frozen Heart. For the jungle enchantment, pick Sinner Hulk if you want to be a tanky frontline for your carries but choose Blood Razor if you want to do most of the damage yourself. Blood Razor is more risky and if you had a bad start you should probably just always go for Center Hulk. And then after finishing the jungle item, if you're doing well, maybe you have a couple kills more than your deaths, you might be 2-0 or you might be like 4-1, you can choose another attack speed item, either Gwinsu's or Trinity Force. Gwinsu's is better DPS in longer fights, or if you're split pushing, because it'll give you flames in every second attack, but it takes time to ramp it up. So Trinity Force would be better if you're going to be just dipping in and out of fights, team fighting, using more spells instead of just sitting in Phoenix all the time. So just try them separately, try, try them both, see which one better fits your own playstyle. And then finally for team fighting phase, pick your defensive items, either armor or magic resist based on whichever enemies are the most fed or doing the most damage to you. You don't need to buy a ton of health because we'll already have some health from our Strength of the Ages Mastery and a lot of our tankiness comes from our low cooldown shield with our armor and magic resist stats. I almost always buy Frozen Heart because of the CDR and mana for the shields. I also usually buy ZZ Rot. Regarding the Frozen Mallet, I would only buy that if I went Blood Razor because if you had Cinder Hulk, it would be too much health with not enough armor and magic resist. For the runes, we'll be running full attack speed, quintessences and reds, flat armor yellows, six scaling CDR blues, and three scaling magic resist blues. For the masteries, our keystone, strength of the ages, and then I put the other 12 points in the offense tree. For the first clear, regardless of which side you start on, always start at Gromp. Activate Phoenix early, so your first attack will have the flames, and then you can activate it again, so you get flames on the second attack as well. Smite Gromp for the poison buff. You can activate Phoenix again when it's off cooldown. And then for blue buff, alternate your turtle stance and Phoenix to keep your passive fully stacked. Just make sure that when you're in Phoenix, you wait for it to complete one full cycle. Then right after the flames happens, you switch over to turtle stance to be the most efficient. Same thing for Wolves, alternate Turtle and Phoenix. If you want to know the exact attack numbers, it's 4 attacks in Phoenix Sands and 3 attacks in Turtle Sands. That will give you the most efficient clear while not running out of mana and keeping your passive fully stacked. For the Raptors, I like to take out the small ones first just to save myself some health. And then I just do the same alternating W and R on the large Raptor. I'm not going to use Smite here, I'll use it at my red buff. And then after the red buff you can choose to either kill your Krug as they get your level 4 or go straight to ganking. If there's any enemies that are pushed you should probably try to gank them, but if all your laners are pushed towards the enemy side you can just farm your Krugs and maybe take Scuttle and then check again to see if anybody's pushed at that point. So jumping into a real game now, just finishing up the first clear like I just showed. I'm not going to take Krugs this time though. I'm just going to go straight for the ganks to be a little bit more aggressive. Top lane's pushed, so I can either take Scuttle or just go straight for mid because he's a bit pushed, Lux is a bit pushed. 
So I'll stack up my passive before I go in using turtle and bear stance. So I'll have a shield and the move speed. We got his flash. So I'll be back real soon. I'll steal these raptors. Ping from my team. That Lux's flash is on cooldown. And look at that. This guy is already pushing again. So let's head back over there. We don't have a lot of mana, so... Hopefully I can just stun him and then switch over to Phoenix and attack move him with red buff that I have. So there we go, enough mana for Phoenix. Don't need to really use any other spells, I can just sit in Phoenix forever. Attack moving in the direction that he wants to move. And since I have red buff, he's not going to be going anywhere. So now it's a good time to recall since I'm out of health and mana. Pick up the Hunter's Potion and Basic Boots, and instead of the Stalker's Blade, I'm actually going to go for the Attack Speed Daggers. That's more of an offensive choice to just kill champions instead of jungle monsters. Also bought a Pink Ward. Take out the Scuttle. It's always good to take Scuttles whenever they're up. And I don't think I'm going to be able to gank Bot because they're a little bit too pushed. So let's invade a little bit. I can drop a Deep Ward. It's my favorite spot to drop a Pink Ward in the enemy jungle. Right here in this corner of the bush, so... You can see when he's doing red, and people won't usually check that spot in the early game. I'll take these again, just because. And Lux is pushed again, so let's head back over there. Lux with Ghost, okay. Can't really catch up to him now. Let's focus on Volley Bear. Move back towards Lux. He gets a little bit too close, and he's gonna pay for it. Very nice. And my mid laner is now gonna snowball that lead, I hope. Now let's try to invade here. There's the enemy jungler right there, you can see my pink ward saw him. I, right here I'm not really sure if he saw me or not, but I know that he's in that bush. So my teammate came over, I pinged it, we ran in. And there he was, I don't know what he was doing, maybe he thought I, maybe he saw me or maybe he was typing. And I'll just take this red. Take these raptors again. And now let's go grab Rift Herald. It's a little bit early for Rift Herald. Normally you can solo it if you just wait until 18 or 19 minutes, but if you're a little bit fed you can do it earlier. And if you haven't already noticed, I am skipping through this gameplay a little bit just to show you the highlights because I do want to show you two different gameplays. So after this Blood Razor gameplay, I'm going to show you a Cinder Hulk game. I don't want the video to be an hour long, so I'm gonna cut through. Now just stealing this blue buff, just trying to take everything I can, because I can do it so fast. And then these guys were waiting for me, so not as sneaky as I thought I was. And what do I do when I come back to life? Run straight back into the jungle, fight these guys again, get my revenge. Not so easy for you guys if you don't get the jump on me. Now I'll take out this mid tower. I took one level in Tiger Stance. So it, it's what I can use when I'm either attacking towers or if I just want to have a faster clear I can alternate Q and R in the jungle instead of using W and R. You can't do that so early but in the mid game you can do that without really losing much health. Pick up another kill, steal some more stuff, it's not just about the kills, you gotta get your jungle monsters stacks. Now I'm gonna recall, I can finish my Gwinsus, I'm gonna go for Gwinsus this game. Take out this blue buff, don't really need to give it to my mid laner cause he's Kennen. You guys want some trouble? I'll give you trouble. Ooh, look at that. I don't think he can handle trouble. Chase these guys. I can just do whatever I want. Okay, Volley. Okay, I'll go for Ezreal. Come on, Ezreal. And he's gone. Alright. Volley Bear, I guess you're gonna die. 
Now let's go take bot tower. We don't really need any minions. Steel is red yet again. Looks like my team's gonna take out that dragon. So I'll take raptors yet again. Now, are we going to be able to get another kill here? Looks like it. Lux is already a little bit out of position again. Just melted him. Melted Scion. But they're going to kill me this time. Worth. Now let's push bot. I'll tank this laser a little bit for Jinx until my minions show up. Now let's take this out. Using Tiger Stance to do a little bit more damage each hit. Pop Ghost, I'm gonna, gonna try to see if I can catch these guys out here. The snare kinda ruined it for me. Probably would've killed her if she didn't land that snare. I could've juked it, honestly. I didn't do a very good job of juking that one at all. I didn't even try. Okay, they got four down here. Looks like we got ourselves a party, boys. Let's run away now. You guys are not going to stop me. Not today. And we made it. Sneak in here. Take this bot and hip. Ezreal, what are you going to do? I don't think you're going to do anything. You're going to miss some cues. Uh oh. Looks like we're going to have to pull out some more jukes. I'm fine with doing that. Tried to ZZ Rot block them, but I ended up just blocking myself, so that didn't work. But you can see w how you can actually use a ZZ Rot there. If you put it in a bush, like around a corner, enemies uh, won't be able to see that it's in there, and then it'll slow them down by like a second. Anyways, guys, let's go on to the next game where I built Cinder Hulk. Basically, this game I ended up with a lot of assists, and my teammates had a lot of kills. So I figured I should probably just go tank and help my teammates do the most damage. So looking at the scoreboard here, you can see I got a 4-1 ADC, a 3-1 mid laner, and a 4-1 top laner. And I'm 1-2 and 8. So right here I'm deciding, okay, well I'll just buy Wits End and Cinder Hulk. Almost started Wits End, but then I just decided I can just finish Cinder Hulk right there. So I decided on that instead. But since the enemies are mostly magic damage, I will definitely buy the Wits End next. And that'll allow me to do a little bit more um, risky plays, so I can maybe dive a little bit more, get right in the middle of the team fight, and survive a little bit more than with Blood Razor. So here's an example of that, just going deep into the enemy side. Um, I'm not really hurt that much by these these spells. I got the Merc Treads, early magic resist, got a lot of health. These guys can't really do much damage to me. So my team showed up. We're gonna definitely kill Nunu. And then bot lane showed up. We're definitely gonna kill these guys too, because remember, my teammates are all fed. So I just gotta do my job and be the only tank. And we should win the game. Pop Ghost, run up behind this guy because I can, and he's trapped now, so we'll kill him too. Very nice. Now we'll continue building Wit's End. I have so much fun just juking um, skill shots like this, and when you're playing tank you can get away with messing around like this a little bit more. I know it's like something that people will consider trolling? I just find it so hilarious. It's a little bit sad when one actually hits me, but I mean, it's just so funny to me. And I'm a giant teddy bear. It's just great. As you can see here, my teammates are just shredding these guys. I'm really not doing most of the damage here, but I will do a little bit more damage at the end because I'm going to go for Trinity Force after Wit's End. So you'll be able to see what the damage potential is like, even if you went Cinder Hole. Some more catches. I can't really just delete people in three seconds now, but I can still 
do sustained damage. You can see right here, I just run into the middle of the entire enemy team. Chase the ADC, he's dead. I get knocked over to this guy, I guess I'm going to focus him now. He's dead, stun the other guy. It's all about getting the important stuns down for your teammates, if you're playing tank. Again, we're going to run in from behind with my ADC by my side. We're going to try to focus the squishies, either get their ADC or their mid laner caught out first. Right here, I'll stun Alistar so he can't get to my ADC. You can finish off the mid laner, get on their ADC. So we got their two carries out, but I'm not going to be able to get away from these guys. I mean, jukes aren't going to get me away from new new snowballs, so I'm going to die for sure. We got a couple kills out of it, and we killed another one. So now that we got Triforce, we should do a lot more damage. Let's try to 1v1 this Mundo. He's a level up on us, but looks like we're able to hold our ground, and he actually ran away from that one. In the middle of his minion wave, the clear speed you can see is still not too bad either if you build Wit's End and one of the attack speed items. So now let's push bot. The reason we were able to close out this game is when I was pushing bot, Alistar showed up right here, and I couldn't continue pushing that because my Cinder Hulk would aggro the turret if he knocked me into range, so I just didn't want to deal with that. So what I did was I just ran straight up here, and you can see Alistar trying to keep up with me. The thing is, I'm a lot faster than Alistar, and if I come up here to join my team in the fight, we're going to outnumber them. So they ended up winning without me even being there, but um, that was the plan, and then we were just able to take out this Baron. And that's going to be pretty much the end of the game. They're going to surrender real soon. So guys, that's going to be all for today. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. If you'd like to see more of these videos in the future. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Because I do read all the comments. And I answer all the questions that I can. So that's it guys. See you next time. Bye bye.